Hey, good morning. Good Link Community Church. I hope you're having a great day. I hope it's off to a great start. I'm excited to get into God's Word this morning, and hopefully you are too. We're going to be getting back into the book of Psalms this morning. We're going to be in Psalms 36. We're going to be looking at verses 5 through 7. And I want you to keep a question. As I read these verses, I want to keep want you to keep a question in mind. And here's the question. Um, what, look for God's actions towards men in this passage. So God's action towards men. And there's three or four things I think you're going to see, and it should give us uh, some encouragement this morning. Let's read our passage. It says this. Your steadfast love, this is verse 5, your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are, are the great deep. Man and beast you save, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. I love this. I see, you know, there's three or four things in there that we see that just stick out to you. Uh, I, I like the steadfast love, the faithfulness, the salvation and protection that he provides. Um, he even talks about the animals, the small animals he takes care of. And really, if he's willing to take care of the animals, how much more precious are we uh, to him? So I want to be encouraged today that God's steadfast love has never changed. No matter what we've done, he still loves us more than we can ever imagine. What are the depths, the heights of his love? How can we comprehend that? We can take that and have the understanding that he wants to protect us. He wants to have that relationship. It really implies that personal relationship. Hopefully you have that personal relationship. You've asked Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. We want to make sure that that's a priority in your life, uh, responding to the gospel message, making Jesus the Lord of our lives. Well, be encouraged today. I hope you have a great day. And as I say every day, let's get outside and have some fun if we can. Have a great day, and may God bless you.